Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and today we are dedicating a video to Cardano ADA, the Ethereum killer or at least a project that is destined for greatness for quite a multitude of reasons but today we are focusing on what is about to happen tomorrow and i want to try and explain a little bit more about why i'm so excited about cardano's price all right guys before i forget to say it do you guys want to see more about cardano yes or no let me know in the comment section down below and if you are enjoying this video, make sure you press the like button. I gotta notice, you know, I gotta see if you guys actually want me to talk more about ADA or if you'd prefer me to just talk about only a different crypto. Just let me know in the comment section down below. I've even told you guys a couple of times by now, I am gearing up for an extremely big Cardano trade. You guys already know by now that right now as we speak, there are $1,600 worth of bonuses to be gotten over on Bybit. But I told you guys as well that a lot of it was used for my XRP position. But guys, soon here, we're going to do some crazy ADA trades because oh boy, oh boy, am I excited. But let's quickly start off with what is about to happen tomorrow. Cardano reveals that smart contracts launch date will be revealed on Friday. Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson says the launch date for smart contracts on the network will be revealed on Friday. ADA has gained more than 20% in the past few days and developer activity on Cardano network has drastically increased. Cardano his co-founder, IOHK CEO Charles Hoskinson, said that the much-awaited Cardano smart contact feature will be launched at a date to be announced this Friday. So, again, within a couple of hours from now. The date will be before the 2021 Cardano Summit Conference, which is already registering participants online. And to be honest with you, this Cardano Summit 2021 is quite vague, as I checked out the website with you guys a couple of times by now as well. Nothing has really changed thus far, and it basically states they don't know where it's going to be, they don't know when it's going to be, they don't know what they're going to be talking about, but it is coming. And that's, again, pretty fun to me. Like, the idea that it's next month already and they just announced it, yet they're so confident that it will work out. I mean, they must have a good plan, right? As Cardano literally is a peer-reviewed crypto, which in uh, kind of a shorter story means they think their stuff through, they write papers on what they do before they actually implement something. And so if they were to do the exact opposite thing with their conference, it would kind of be a letdown. So I think it's going to be a success. I'm not exactly sure how, but I think it will. Let's quickly see. In a video podcast Tuesday, he noted, I just want to make a very quick video telling you guys a few things. So we had our big meeting today and we kind of went through where we are at with the progress with smart contracts. We had a lot of discussions with partners and other people and it looks like we are on track. For Friday to announce the date, we feel very comfortable with the date and I think it is a very achievable date and I think the community is going to be quite happy about it. So guys, very often in anticipation of these events, people buy ADA. I've told you guys this about 10 times by now. And trust me, I have been talking about ADA for so many years by now. So many years that I, I, I almost start to forget that ADA was just at about two cents or so for the majority of the time that I have basically invested. I think three cents, my average price most likely is not above five cents, guys, for ADA. The majority of times we talked about it, it was really at that three to four cent region and very often also at two. It's just kind of mind boggling to think how much the crypto has grown. And if I look back at my crypto videos from just a couple of years ago, how things have just changed. Even 2020, that uh, ADA was also, I think, like three cents at the time as well, in the middle of 2020. Just how, how crazy is that, guys? And from that perspective, too, an Ethereum killer is really not that crazy of a name for them because they have gotten such a drastic rise to fame that sometimes people question if ADA can gain this much momentum and this much market cap, without actually having some of the features or any features for that matter at all, wouldn't it be logical if they could go times six or times seven if they really do have some of the features that Ethereum has? I mean, they're better in almost every way, shape, or form. 
$3 is a really low target if you were to ask me. I mean, we're talking about going times 7 or so to get to Ethereum's level, but even that I think is just a start because theoretically speaking, they would have to, you know, overtake that or basically go beyond the scope of what we already have seen as possible, right? Times 7 or getting to Ethereum market cap would mean ADA is about $12.50 or so, $12.39 to be exact if we go times 7. I think that's still on the low end of things though, guys, honestly speaking with you. I think $30 per ADA is still a pretty low number, and I'm not basing this on just nothing. No, guys, I am basing this on the idea right now as we currently speak. Let's actually do a little bit of a fun calculation for ourselves, right? So right now, Cardano is $56 billion over uh, Bitcoin's $832 billion. It is about 6.7% of Bitcoin. Have you guys understood that for a little second? If you compare ADA and Bitcoin, ADA is just 6% of that. Once more, if you compare Ethereum and ADA, obviously ADA is just one seventh ish of about what Ethereum is. Sometimes I forget how small these altcoins really are if you compare them to Bitcoin. Yet, if we all assume that Bitcoin is going to grow eventually to about half a million dollars, which means Bitcoin is going to go times about 11 ish from here on forward. Well, most likely the Bitcoin dominance is going to drop quite drastically from about 44% that it is right now to let's say about 25 or so. And what that means is that some of these coins like ADA can actually double in their percentage in terms of market cap. So for example, from 6.7% to let's say about 13 or so percent. And that basically means that if XRP, Doge, USDC, DOT, UNI, Ethereum, BNB, all those coins stay the same, it could have been even higher, but if they all grow relatively a little bit and just take some of Bitcoin, except again for Ethereum, if you just take some of Bitcoin and ADA goes to that 13% range, as an example, it doesn't go times 11, but it goes times 22. Now let's put that in for a real second. 177 times 22 is about 38.94 per ADA. That's just a little bit of a small thought here. If you think Bitcoin can reach half a million dollars, I am firmly believing that if Bitcoin really hits those areas, it's going to really heavily drop in, in dominance. But even if Bitcoin goes to 30% dominance, which is we've seen before, most likely ADA will overtake some of that Ethereum market cap once more because they're facing the same problem. And since Ethereum 2.0 is coming out so slowly, there's a good chance that ADA is looking for a position right there to kind of nestle themselves inside there. And it's, it's, it's interesting. Guys, development activity and the amount of developers that are excited to be working on ADA are really high. So I hope that it doesn't let us down over the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months. This summit could be a big game changer as well because it will most likely show a lot of the interest that's over in Cardano. But let me tell you guys that I am extremely excited because the price is also looking like it's just going to keep going higher and higher and higher as time goes on. It doesn't really look like there's any stop for ADA. And that is scary because, well, like any any time we've had this, I should have bought more. <laughs> oh, how often I have had that throughout these couple of months, guys. Charles Hoskinson, co-founder of Ethereum, co-founder of Ethereum Classic, co-founder of Cardano. I don't know how it could be that you just really trust a man with his plans. I mean, of course we can't find out if he's really narcissistic in all of this, doing it for his own personal gain to drive the llamas and whatnot. He didn't take the Ethereum share, he said, when he co-founded Ethereum, all the eight founders got a share, he didn't take it. To be honest with you, I think that if they wanted, Cardano talking about, money quickly and fast, that there would have been really easier ways around it. Right now, the value of ADA is so ridiculously high, even though they don't really have much going on for themselves. And I don't mean that to mock ADA. Trust me, I have made over a hundred videos on my channel explaining some of the deeper parts of Cardano. We have gone and talked to developers throughout these years. We've talked about so ridiculously much. I have watched nearly every single interview that Charles Hoskinson has done because I love crypto. I spent the majority of my time looking at news, checking out all these things because that's what I like. And so I can definitely say with some certainty that this project is no joke. This project is very serious about what they want to achieve. And this project, as it currently stands, is a very big contender to the throne. It can really beat Ethereum. And I don't take that lightly. It really can, however. Do I have more money in Ethereum than ADA? Yes. But that is also because I think if ADA has that 10 times moonshot potential, theoretically speaking, I should have a lot less money in ADA because the gains are still about to come. Yet, if gains are about to come and aren't there yet, 
well, then if it's not established, then, you know, logically speaking, I, I already invested more in Ethereum in the past, and that is taking me to higher highs. Now, Cardano can be a new shot, but of course, it's also riskier. So it's logical. I would say that we have a little bit less money in ADA than Ethereum, even though I do think it might be one of the killers. And pretty soon here, let's quickly read this. The crypto community is certainly bullish on Cardano at the moment. The network is approaching the next update called Alonzo Purple, after which smart contracts will be successfully integrated into the system. Its native crypto ADA has also responded well to upbeat market sentiment. And I believe, actually, guys, that we still have the Cardano um, roadmap somewhere too right i don't check that one out too much anymore because the roadmap kind of went ugly i believe after some of their phases went through yeah look at all the different phases byron shelley gogan basho and voltaire just think about how much is happening throughout the next couple of months and, and really how fast it's going you might say it's slow because they've been working on this for so many years like five six years or so yes but also no i mean i remember when we were talking about byron and everything like that and how fast we've already gone to i guess the end of Gogan right here. Yeah, sometimes I find that it really goes a lot faster, specifically if you start to watch it. <laughs> but all right, guys, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different than my usual XRP content, but let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next, what type of crypto.